The world is populated with millions of dogs. In my neighborhood alone, you'll be pressed to find a household without a loyal canine companion, including mine. Although now pretty common, some would-be dog owners still want to stand out from the rest. In other words, they want a dog that is quite unique compared to what their neighbor has. If you are one of these people, don't worry as we've got you covered. Today we're going to be looking at 10 of the most unique dog breeds in the entire world. Better make sure that you stay tuned for number one because if that breed is our top pick, chances are it's going to be yours too. Number 10. Norwegian Loonhound. At a glance, Loonhounds seem a typical northern breed. It's a spitz type with triangular ears, curving tail, and a dense double coat. But a closer look reveals it to be quite unique from other dogs. They have feet with at least six fully functioning toes and extra paw pads, a very elastic neck that can crane back so the head touches the spine, ears that can fold shut, and flexible shoulders that allow forelegs to extend to the side, perpendicular to the body. This last anomaly produces the breed's distinctive rotary gait. The Loonhound has a medium to high energy level and is happiest when he has the opportunity to engage in some form of physical exercise on a daily basis. He will enjoy a brisk 30 minute walk or a couple of ball chasing sessions with his owner every single day, so not really for couch potatoes. The Loonhound is very sensitive and can develop trust issues, and harsh training methods should never be used. Early socialization and puppy training classes are recommended and help to ensure that the dog grows into a well adjusted, well mannered companion. The breed is incredibly clever, affectionate, and fun-loving, and they're very smart and are problem solvers of the first order. Number 9. The Otter Hound. Although it may not look like it, the boisterous and friendly Otter Hound is a large scent hound. This breed is quite unique because of something not normally found in dogs. It has webbed feet. They're also one of the most endangered dog breeds today, with fewer than 350 in the United States and Canada and less than 1,000 worldwide. There are references to otter dogs in England as far back as the 1100s, but it wasn't until the late 18th century that the breed came to look as it does today. Initially, otter hounds were developed to hunt in packs. Their quarry was quite predictably river otter, an animal that put much needed fish stocks at risk. Later, hunting river otter became a sport rather than a way of protecting fish ponds. Another interesting trait of the otter hound is the way many of them choose to drink from the bottom of their water dish. It's not uncommon for them to submerge their nose or even their entire head when taking a drink. It might seem a tad strange, especially if you're used to seeing other breeds drink from the surface. Number 8. Bergamasco Sheepdog Beneath the one-of-a-kind goat is a large muscular sheepdog of ancient pedigree. But since the goat is what makes this dog breed quite unique, let's discuss that further. The Bergamasco Sheepdog has hair of three different textures from naturally occurring loose mats or flocks covering the body and legs. The flocks provide protection from the fierce cold and wild predators of the Italian Alps, the breed's ancestral homeland. Bergamascos are bright, loyal, loving, and trainable, also very independent, being a mountain dog. They take to watching over loved ones with a serene vigilance, wary of strangers until properly introduced. Bergamascos are aggressive only as a last resort. The coat of an adult Bergamasco is basically maintenance-free. It doesn't shed, doesn't need to be brushed, and doesn't need to be bathed more than two or three times a year. Perfect for the lazy pet owner. Number 7. Sky Terrier. Long, low, and level, this unique earth dog is among the world's most distinctive looking breeds. Skies stand 9 or 10 inches high and feature a long, flat-lying coat and peekaboo hairdo. They're known for big feathery ears that stand up like bat wings, making them quite a unique breed. But some can also develop droopy ears which lie flat against a large long head. Beneath the profuse coat are short muscular legs and a deep chest. When seen in profile, these elegant but substantial terriers are twice as long as they are high. The Skye is a very intelligent but strong-willed breed, calmer than many of the terrier breeds. They are amenable to training, provided it's consistent and done in a positive manner. They are sensitive to correction and will withdraw from harsh or negative training methods. Like all terriers, they can be stubborn though. However, they enjoy interaction with their humans and are eager to please. The sky is reserved by nature and should be well socialized from a very young age to ensure a happy and outgoing personality. For those who understand the breed's temperament and raise the dog with love and proper training and socialization, there is no more delightful companion. Number 6. The Commodore. The Commodore is a large and powerful guardian, covered in profuse white cords. 
A big male can stand more than 27.5 inches and weigh over 100 pounds, with heavy bone, a deep chest, and lots of muscle. Despite their brawn, Commanderic, which is what you call them in plural, are agile and light-footed, and move with long strides. With their unique look, it's impossible to mistake comps for anything else. A beautiful corded coat, which is this breed's most unique characteristic, is the result of special care. Care for these cords start when the dog is still a pup with regular washes. At around 9 to 10 months, the fur starts to clump, and that's the time when you separate them into the cords that this dog is famous for. Despite the coat's appearance, it's not really that smelly, depending on how you care for it, of course. Regular shampooing is a must, otherwise you'll end up with a dog that looks and smells like a floor mop. Number 5. Shaperky. Standing no higher than 13 inches, Shaperkies are small dogs built for hard work. Ships were created as ratters and watchdogs. Their powerful jaws, necks, and forequarters coupled with a stealthy cat-like hunting style make them ideal rat-catching machines. The black coat is profuse around the neck, shoulders, and legs, giving the breed a silhouette that accentuates a thick, substantial body. The foxy face completes the unique look of a unique breed. If you can't tell a Shaperky from an ordinary dog, you simply haven't been paying attention. Shaperkies are very active, energetic, and busy little dogs. A brisk daily walk or a romp in a fenced yard will provide needed exercise. They love playing and exploring, and they thrive in households that have the time and patience to properly train them and appreciate their playful personalities. In other words, this breed can be quite a handful for fur parents who don't have time or don't appreciate a good run around the park. Eh, not for a lazy person like me, I'm afraid. Number 4. Lu Chen. Small dogs with enormous hearts, Lu Chen stand a bit over a foot tall at the shoulder. What makes this breed quite unique is its coat. The coat is traditionally kept in a lion clip, in which most of the hindquarters and tail are clipped down close to the skin. The overall effect is that of a mini lion, with a full mane and plumed tail. The coat comes in several colors and color combinations. Beneath the coat is a dog that's strong and sturdy, but elegant and artfully balanced. The Luchin is a charming, lively companion. He loves to play in his fence yard or accompany his owner on long walks. He's very intelligent and loves having new challenges, and he's a great candidate for obedience or agility. He won't be suited to go on long distance runs, but he is a sturdy little dog who can be happy doing just about any activity with his people. Number 3. Puli. First, there are those dreadlocks, the instantly recognizable and most unique feature of the Puli. The coat's naturally occurring cords are woolly, dense, and weatherproof. Either corded or brushed out, bully coats require lots of attention. Under the dreads, there's a compact but powerful dog, standing 16 to 17 inches at the shoulder. Pulik, its plural form, are remarkably agile and light on their feet, earning a reputation as the acrobat of the dog world. This here is a breed that needs to be kept mentally active. Pulik are incredibly intelligent, agile, and loyal, which makes them able to learn quickly, and they strive to please their owners. However, they do not suffer fools lightly, and they require a firm but fair hand. This is a very headstrong breed who has no problem humiliating you in public, so prepare yourself for that one. Pulik are herding dogs, and as such, many of them do not give up control easily. They will follow commands, but they do things their own way. They do not care for repetition. With puppies especially, it is important to do proper socialization. Now it's time for the day's best pick. And if you're someone who is terrified of a zombie apocalypse, I suggest you look away now. Number 2. Zombie Dog. Our best pick for today is a dog that, well, clearly has seen some better days. It's been stabbed in many places by many different implements. It even has a large screw going through its head. With its overall appearance, one can only arrive at one conclusion. This thing's a zombie. Now, before you even jump to the conclusion that the Umbrella Corporation is real and is testing the Z-Virus on our canine friends, there's a perfectly good explanation for this. Prosthetics. What you're seeing is a decked out Neapolitan Mastiff, one of the largest breeds of dogs in the entire world. These majestic guardians of startling appearance are massive, powerful dogs. The US Neapolitan Mastiff Club describes this dog as astounding and gives them credit for hitting upon just the right adjective there. The profuse hanging wrinkles and folds and pendulous lips make a Mastino look like a marzipan Mastiff that's been out in the sun too long. And yet the breed's inner dignity and nobility can only be described as beautiful. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe,
subscribe within the next five seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number one, Peruvian Inca Orchid. These affectionate companion dogs are essentially sidehounds and have the same elegant contours of their racy cousins. Peruvian Inca orchids or PIOs come in a range of sizes. The smallest might stand just sort of 10 inches, the largest top out at nearly 26 inches. Their most unique feature is of course hairlessness. The delicate skin can be a solid color or spotted with unpigmented areas. Coated PIOs are in the minority and the coated and hairless varieties can occur in the same litter. Going by this general confirmation, it is an elegant and slim dog whose aspect expresses speed, strength, and harmony without ever appearing coarse. Another particular feature is that the dentition in the hairless variety is nearly always incomplete, associated with the congenital alopecia. Noble and affectionate at home with those close to him, he is at the same time lively and alert. He might be wary of strangers and is a good watchdog. The breed is loyal and protective of his family, but like all dogs, should be supervised around younger children. Caution should also be taken with small pets that may be seen as prey. Which unique dog breed is your favorite? Let us know in the comment section below. Want to watch more unique videos about unique creatures? Click on any of the videos you see on the screen. As always, thanks for watching everybody, and we will see you all next time.